Hey everybody and welcome back to Little Between Paychecks Kitchen. I'm Oz, Jack and Lady are still Lake Jackson. And this one, this is a quick little bonus video. Uh, I've done like three soups in a row, so I always use like bread or crackers and stuff with mine. And I was walking through my local hobby shop looking for cloth because I'm that kind of lerp nerd. Uh, I found these and I wanted to try them out. So if you're going to try something, might as well do it on camera. Uh, before we get into it, be sure to like, share, subscribe, you know, do all the YouTube stuff, ring the little bell, check out our link for our merch down the doobly-doo. And let's just try this. Give me pretzels and crackers. That's the tastiest cannibalism. Crackers. All right, these are from Davis and Davis. Uh, they're the ones for both crackers and your uh, pretzels. These are amazing, super cheap, couple of bucks. All right, so for the crackers, you want like two tubes of the saltines. So I got two of them, so I'm going to do a four. For the pretzels, you want about a decent heavy bag or half one of these tubs that I picked up at like a Kroger or somewhere. And uh, you're going to need half a cup of oil for each one of these packages. So vegetable or canola is fine. Is what you're gonna look for. Now you're also gonna need uh, Ziploc bags, the big gallon ones, or just a really big, you know, bowl might work. But uh, yeah, the the bag works better. So just dump the dries in there. Just put one packet in there. Take your half cup of oil gently and pour it in on top. Uh, that's it. That's the that's the biggest prep you got here. Uh, seal it. Now I'm cheap and I don't have the blue and yellow make green seal. I don't even know if they make those anymore. Can I eat one something else? And mix this up pretty good, all right? Just make sure it's not dry, stuck to the thing. There's no lumps in it. Really easy. Uh, I was kind of worried if this one was very wet, but uh worked out really well. And all the other ones, I did those just the same. Those worked really well. So just open these up. Put in your two sleeves of crackers. And then uh, try to seal it back up. Make sure it's sealed before you turn it over or do anything fancy with it. And then just gently massage this back and forth. Like, uh, give it a toss for... 30 seconds or so this might take a little while but you wanted to kind of coat everything and then like I said you did everything I did all of them for the sake of repetitiveness and avoiding it uh, and just did all these so you want to toss these every 15 20 minutes you want to do it for about two hours or so uh, make sure they're nice and uh, covered and then let them sit overnight is what the package said you can eat them directly but they're still very wet uh, these were tossed for like two hours and 15 20 minutes and then set overnight and these worked perfectly like look at this it's almost straight out of the store these look really good they smell amazing especially with the dill stuff in this one the sour cream and onion is absolutely worth everything else so that's my favorite so far and then the pretzels i don't think i had enough pretzels left in my tub so i had one or two that's like that one thing in the checks mix that you get that's super coated with the dust which is the greatest thing ever and uh that one turned out really well and there you have it. This is snacks or a full meal. Like, I just sit and eat crackers because uh, I don't mind being fat. But, you know, you can put these next to stuff like any of the soups that we've made. The last three videos we put out were all soup. This works perfect with any of that or a standalone stuff. Snack, meal prep, just put it in a bag, go down the road. It is very easy. Uh, and it is very amazing. It's really good. It's better than just regular pretzels and crackers. Like, any day. And there you have it, man. Quick, easy like two-step flavored pretzels and crackers these work out i was spending a fortune at heb and stuff for the flavored stuff and this is great if you do it at the house it takes a little while i'll give you that but if you do it differently you want to see it just do it differently like jack did with the the i forgot what he called them like firecracker or crackers or something <laughs> there's a link down to the doobly-doo for that but yeah these worked out really well let us know, put it down in the comments, and we'll try it, man. And we'll try it again, do it differently. I'm, I'm up for revisiting, and I get to eat all this stuff, which is cool. So you can also let us know on Facebook, Pinterest, Patreon, over on the social media stuff over there. We're under Living Between Paychecks Kitchen there. You can also find us on Instagram at Living Between. And we had to shorten it there. I always have to throw that part in, but it's just weird that that one's shorter than the other one's. Whatever. And I will catch you all next time. I'm going to eat some crackers, and then i got to go do some uh, training with the fire department stuff with the search and rescue thing. But... It's going to be fun, uh, <laughs> and I'll see you all next time, all right?